What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? I hope all of y'all having a great holiday season. All of y'all. Uh, this video, you know, my videos are always serious, most of them. You know, it has to do with real life stuff, you know? And right now I'm going through an experience that I never thought I would, but I am. Because, well, let me not just get too personal on it. Let me just go ahead with the video and... You guys are smart enough that can decipher what I'm saying. Because I would love to be straightforward, but people will get hurt and they're going to take it too hard to their chest. And I'm going to cut deep. But, you know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. And I'm just just going to talk, you know, and hopefully you guys can understand. You know, we, we everybody talks about this country that is out of this country. Oh, America is the greatest. Oh, America is this. Oh, America is that. Well, you need to come here and experience America for your own eyes and your own life experience. Because it's not what the hype ex shows America to be. You know? It's not easy here. What I'm trying to say is that, you know, we here, we work as slaves because that's what we are, modern slaves. And I don't hide my face for what I'm about to say because I want people to fucking share this video and share it with the world everywhere so everyone can see it. I would love that, you know, so everybody can see, you know, from different perspectives of what America is about, you know, and this is what my opinion is, and I know that opinions are like buttholes, everyone has one, right, but just like every butthole in the world, it matters, every butthole matters, every single one, so with that said, my opinion about this country is this, you know, come here, you have to work, because you can't you can't park yourself in a park because it's illegal, you know. You can't you can't shelter yourself under a tree in a forest because it's illegal. You're trespassing. You know what I'm saying, right? You have to come here and work, right? So because you need to work, right? You have to pay taxes, and if you avoid paying taxes, right, you get jailed for that, right? But they tell you, they give you ghost stories that, yeah, you know, your taxes is going to help you and it's going to help others. And in the future, when you retire, you're going to have a great Social Security benefit and, you know, Medicare benefits and Medicaid benefits and all this and all that. And, and then they give you a whole bunch of sweet sweet loving crap right they deceive you into paying taxes that is the right thing for you to do for the for your own future right but I can't speak for my own experience yet because I haven't gotten there but I speak for the experience of one of my very close loved ones that worked for over 52 years in this country. Okay? Over 52 years in this country. And paid her taxes. As she should. As a person, you know? As a citizen of the United States of America, right? Paid her taxes. Got all her stuff in. You know, she did what she had to do. She retired from her job, you know, because she had no choice, all right, medical reasons, and now that she paid all her taxes, did everything that the government told her to do, everything that the government told her to do, step by step, 
did not skip one. She was a loyal, she is still this day, she's still a loyal citizen to this country. You know what this country does? Denies the benefits that were so promised to her a long time ago. Denied. Why do you think about that? That you work so hard thinking that you're gonna have you're gonna be covered so when you go because you have worked for it and you're covered. And when you get there, you get a nice long dry stick up your behind because it's not happening. They they can't lose that money. But it's okay for them, right, to spend $3 million on a Tomahawk missile, right? And they order about 1,000, 3,000 missiles, right? It's okay for the United States government to take the tax money, the, the tax money that, that people paid, right, to build a $10, million, a $10 billion fucking aircraft carrier, a whole battalion of ships, Right? New technology for war. Because war makes money. Right? You take you take the, the taxpayer's money to build weapons and make wars for you to make the money, right? But do we us citizens see that money? Do we benefit from it? Do we do we profit like you guys do from it? Do we? And then you tell all these soldiers that yeah you're gonna you're gonna fight for your country and you're gonna fight for freedom and you're gonna fight for this and you're gonna fight for that and this and that the other and third and blah 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 blah. But when you fucking go and you go to these wars, right? And I can't speak for myself because I did not become a soldier. I was smart enough to think and make the decision not to do it because I foreseen the future. An example, one of my closest loved ones that passed, and family members will know who I'm talking about, paid his price. And at his death, it's when he was granted the pension that he was so called promised. At his death, how are you going to benefit from a pension? That you almost gave your life for. For a country that didn't give a fuck about your life. Which that's how they do. That's what you soldiers are. You soldiers are pawns. Y'all don't mean shit to this country. Nothing. Just a little pawn. Alright. If you get killed. Eh, give his family a couple of dollars. They'll be happy. That's how it is. Right? That's that's what this country's about. It's about using you. Like they tell you, it's not what this country can do for you. It's what you can do for this country. So the country can progress, but you stay behind or you lose your life. Or you lose 60% of your senses. Or you lose your mind. You can't think straight no more. You know? Like all these soldiers that they got now. Why is there a, a, a veteran charity line? Why? Why people got to join that charity and, and give money? When the government took care of that, supposed to take care of that, you send them to war, you told them to go do that, and they come back with limbs missing, with minds destroyed, they can't think straight, and they got to deal with it on their own because the government don't want to do shit for them. It's whatever charities they got out there that can actually do something for them, you know? This is what I'm this is what I say. This is what I say. This is what I think. This is how I feel about this country. This country is nothing but just to use people. That's what they do. That's my opinion about this country. That's that's what I think. And hopefully you guys can share this 
and and go visit me on YouTube. I got my own channel on YouTube too. I got many various videos about many different subjects that I would love for you guys to see and share because in my opinion, I think they're pretty strong, you know? If we all can actually look at this together and unite and stand together because we are the people, we can fight this, you know, make it better for the people, not for just people that is under the government or on power. You know, this nobody's better than nobody here, bro. We all bleed red. We all have bun, bones and skin. We all do. We have feelings, we feel for one another, and we care for one another. But not everybody does. And you know what? Those people that don't should see the light. And we can show them the light. And we unite. So I'm talking to you out there that is watching this video. That hopefully, maybe, one day... You'll think and say, you know what? I'm going to start doing my own videos. And I'm going to start giving my own opinion. And maybe opinions can get together and make a difference. So, I'll leave you guys with that. Alright? You guys have a great night. Enjoy your holidays. Merry Christmas.